Right. Jadi, uh, do you see India at uh, in some way kind of at the forefront of frugal innovation? Is, is uh, the world looking at India for its uh, inventive innovation? I think in many ways India is something of an epicenter, global epicenter for frugal innovation. Um, you know, in a way this is because of the scale of the challenges that India faces. Uh, upwards of 40% of the population are outside the formal economy, don't have access to banking or clean energy, healthcare, education, etc., but are increasingly aspirational. And so you see a whole range of solutions and people providing these solutions that are affordable um, and nevertheless uh, accessible to people. Uh, you know, you have people at the grassroots coming up with solutions, which we cover in our book. For instance, Mansukh Bhai, who's from a village in Gujarat, coming up with a clay fridge, which is intended potentially for hundreds of millions of people who'd like to have a fridge but can't afford one, or even if they can afford one, don't have access to electricity, to entrepreneurs from cities delivering, delivering solar lighting solutions to people or affordable health care. One could talk about Dr. Shetty, who's delivering cardiac surgery for something like $1,500, or the Arvind Eye Care, who are doing affordable cataracts and lenses and so forth to companies, big Indian companies like the Tatas with the Nano or the Swatch water filter, to multinationals who in the R&D centers in India are developing frugal medical devices, uh, trying to develop uh, telemedicine solutions, uh, cheap affordable cars and so on and so forth. So I think there's no doubt that India is something of a, a global hub for affordable uh, inclusive innovation. Right. So from a time when um, say the word jugad was regarded as some kind, I won't say a bad word, but some kind of, uh, you know, uh, something which involved, you know, cutting corners and then suddenly you found that, you know, the in the way Indian companies, Indian individuals and entrepreneurs were innovating, suddenly had uh, the world's focus on them. So, yes, I think, you know, uh, jugad does have negative connotations. It's, for some people, it's synonymous with illegal behavior. Um, to others, it connotes shoddy workmanship or poor quality products. Um, but I think in our book, we focus very much on the positive aspects of Jugaad. What that basic innate ingenuity that many Indians have can do in trying to overcome constraints and create solutions that are affordable and inclusive. Uh, and I think by focusing on the positive, we have been able to get others to see the positive aspects of Jugaad, not only in India, but elsewhere. And I think to some extent we've helped introduce it, uh, this notion, in countries like France or the UK or even the US. Right. Navi, um, if, you, if I were to ask you uh, what would be the definition of, uh, uh, I mean the many definition, but how would you define frugal innovation in your book? Frugal innovation is the ability to do better with less, that is create more economic and social value while trying to minimize use of scarce resources. And scarce resources could be uh, financial capital or uh, energy, water, like natural resources, or time, which is also a scarce resource. So in a nutshell, frugal innovation is the ability to do more and better with less. Right. Can you uh, demonstrate an example of uh, frugal innovation which you have discussed in the book with some device which you would like to show? Frugal innovation is indeed being adopted in Silicon Valley where we have many entrepreneurs who are coming up with uh, amazing solutions to deliver more value for less. Uh, this is uh, one of them. Uh, it's actually developed by my neighbor in Silicon Valley. Uh, it's called uh, G-Drive and uh, essentially these are wireless sensors designed like a plastic ruler that a farmer can stick in different parts of his field and he start collecting detailed information on things like soil conditions or air temperature or sunlight and then helps farmers reduce use of water, energy, labor and fertilizer while at the same time increasing uh, both uh, the yield in terms of quantity but also quality by improving the quality of uh, crops as well. So this is a solution that pays for itself within uh, six months. 
So this is a boon for farmers, both in California and other parts of the world, that have to do more with less by using less water and yet keep feeding, you know, a world that is getting more and more populous. And how was this developed? This was an amazing story of frugal innovation because frugal innovation means that it's also frugal in terms of cost of developing it. Uh, my neighbor actually used many of the components that come from the open source community. Uh, he developed that in his own garage. And this is a big message we want to send to Indian entrepreneurs is that, you know, there is no excuse now to start disrupting, you know, big sectors like, you know, agriculture, for example, because now you can actually do these kind of frugal devices yourself by relying on open source type of, you know, electronic components uh, and then leveraging uh, places like Fab Labs or makerspaces that are popping up across India right now. So uh, the message is that, you know, this is the golden age, we think, for what we call hardware startups that can actually frugally uh, come up with these, you know, these very innovative solutions to tackle big issues in, uh, you know, farming, uh, healthcare, education, you name it. It can be done in a very frugal way. Thank you.